David, what's going to happen from here? I imagine it's going to be a weekend filled with news and fast moving events. I think you're right, Morgan. I think that's that's very likely. I mean, obviously, a lot of questions still right now, but you know, certainly what I'm hearing is uh, the first question is, what about the uninsured depositors at Silicon Valley Bank? I know you guys have, have hit on that a bit. You've got a lot of businesses that rely on it that have deposits there. Uh, how do they manage their business and their checking accounts? Uh, again, those uninsured depositors are key, and that's obviously a concern more generally and one reason why we're seeing weakness in some other of these banks that have a large percentage of their deposits above the $250,000 uh, mark, meaning where they're insured to, uh, and maybe sort of specialized in some of their lending. But specific to the weekend, uh, you know, if the FDIC can find uh, another bank to take on those uninsured deposits, that would be a good thing. Uh, that would mean those people will see their money a lot sooner. If not, uh, the question then becomes how long will it be? I think there's still an expectation that those deposits will be money good, but it could be some time. There's going to be a lag time and perhaps a significant one. And so you're also going to start to see a market develop in people who are willing to buy those deposits at a discount right. for those who need who need liquidity. Um, so, David, so, you know, are, are you hearing yeah, sorry, anything John. about, if not a bank, or at least in the nearer term, who might come in to, to rescue, to bail out some of these little companies, innovative little companies, which is what Silicon Valley was uh, built on, um, who are running out of cash fast? Yeah, no, I don't. I, I'm not hearing that, uh, those names. What I'm hearing is more, will the FDIC be successful in finding a bank, another large financial institution, to take on these uninsured depositors and therefore eliminate that concern that you're raising, John. Uh, specific. Otherwise, that's going to be an issue. How do you make sure that these businesses do have the liquidity they need? Um, and that's, uh, yet again, something that the Fed or the FDIC and the government's going to have to deal with. Um, you know, there are going to be losses here, clearly, uh, on the portfolio of, of assets that needs to be sold. Um, but that will be borne most likely by the equity holders, as we know. And beyond that, then, there's also the question of bondholders at Silicon Valley Bank. Those claims have also been trading at a significant discount to par. Mm. But as for the specific answer to what you're raising, John, I have not heard specific names in terms of how are you going to deal with these businesses that need access to money, essentially, that is locked up, if you want to call it that, because they can't get to their deposits. Right. David Faber, on vacation, yet also on the story. Thank you.